with head coach Rich Rodriguez. The Wildcats get set for a road trip to Eugene this coming Saturday to take on the Oregon Ducks. More on that in a moment. Coach, can there be anything better than finishing off your home schedule on senior night with a big win? That's, that's what makes it really special. You know, your senior's last home game. You want them to have a memory of a lifetime. And they, it was an emotional week for them, an emotional night. And it was really neat to see them get carried off the field after the game. It was fun. Defensively, there was some great movement up front. Some, you know, the, the rush defense looked solid. What did you like most about your defense? Well, the first half was probably the best we played defensively all year. I was really proud of them. They were recognizing some different things and uh, adjusting to emotions and shifts. The second half, they got us a little bit. You got to give them some credit. But you know, the first half, they played well enough and really allowed us to get that big lead. Derek Bowles is a guy that plays up front. Sometimes those defensive linemen don't get the stats as the linebackers and secondary guys do, but he had a, a big ball game, and, and he's a big guy. He is, start. and he's very athletic. Uh, you know, the transfer coming in and you know, learned very quickly, and he's got, great, he's got a great, at, uh, great attitude and loves playing, and, and he's made a lot of plays for us, and the nice part about it is he's got another year coming back and he's going to be a really good player for us. All right, Oregon, another one of those teams you saw one earlier this year that you, you haven't faced in a couple of years. They've got a new coaching staff. Uh, tell us a thumbnail sketch of the Ducks. Well, they got a new defense corner, Jim Levitt, who's, I think, outstanding and done a great job with their defense. So they've changed some things scheme-wise there. Offensively, they're running a lot of the same stuff. They run a lot of fast tempo, a lot of things that look similar to our offense. And they play, you know, playing at home, which is a tough environment for us. It might be a little rain and chilly. And, you know, our guys are going to face some adversity, and they've had an open week to get ready for us. So there's a lot of challenges. When you look at the roster of running backs in the Pac-12, where does Royce Freeman stand? One of the best. And he's been one of the best since his day got on campus. We try to recruit him. He's been an outstanding player. He's a big guy. He runs he's physical. He's going to be in the NFL, I think, for a long time. And so there's another challenge. Your team has played well on the road. Playing well overall, won five of its last six ball games. Is your team, I guess, if you could ask for it at the point you'd like them at right now, confidence wise, playing wise, health wise? They yeah, have. I've been really proud. They've been focused all year. Even when we lost a couple early in the season, the guy, the demeanor didn't change, their attitude didn't change. And obviously, when we got a little bit of roll, they got some confidence. And, and, they, and even after the game at SC, we were, they were upset and mad that we didn't win, but they bounced right back the next day and ready to play. And this is going to be, you know, uh, another huge challenge for us in a lot of ways. And, but our guys' attitudes have been really good. And I've been really impressed with not just the young guys because they just take it as it is, but the way the seniors have handled these guys from a leadership standpoint. All right, Cats and the Ducks, 5 o'clock kickoff, uh, Mountain Time, that's Arizona time, coming up on uh, Saturday from Austin Stadium in Eugene. Scoop it up over Graham and score it. PJC for three, why not? Out to PJC on the run. Love, out can slam it home. Trier trying to split defenders. Hangs and finishes in transition. And one for Raleigh Alkin. There's a call and a chance for three. Dusan Ristich. Time to meet your Wildcat, and our guest this week is Trevor Wood, junior tight end out of uh, Scottsdale, Arizona, a veteran member of the Wildcat football team. And uh, for those that don't know Trevor, tell us a little bit of, about yourself. Uh, I'm from Scottsdale, Arizona. Um, I'm going into my redshirt junior year. Uh, my freshman year, I played a little bit of defensive end here. Um, 21 years old, just you know, living life, playing college ball. Having fun. Yeah. All right. Uh, so, favorite food when you arrived on campus? Let's go back to your freshman year. What What was the A game? What did you like best? I just had. I have to say the pregame meal. Okay. Yeah. Pregame meal at La Paloma. It's chicken cordon bleu, clam chowder. Wow. Uh, prime rib, mashed potatoes, corn, basically anything you can imagine. So oh, sounds good to nothing me. Nothing like it. All right. Well, you mentioned you played defense. Now you play offense. What do you like most about football? Uh, I like how it's dependable on multiple people. I mean, you got to play as a group. So, like one person messing up can 
one person messing up or one person doing something extra, you know, can can benefit a whole group. And it's really a team game. Uh, and you got to be versatile. I mean, you got to, it's not just running around being athletic. It's mental too, you know, you know, and where you got to be, when you got to be there. So I think it's, it's a challenge. I think that's why it's, I think that's why it's a lot of fun. All right. You being an in-state guy, um, have you done much traveling in your lifetime? Uh, a little bit. I wouldn't, I'm not a huge traveler. Okay. Uh, I mean, a lot of traveling I did when I was growing up was actually going to, we, each year we go to one away U of A game. Uh, my, we had season tickets. My dad played here, my oh, yeah. uncle played here. So uh, we went to like LSU game, we played LSU, mm -hmm. went to a Washington game. Uh, so we did a couple of different things like that. I mean, I haven't really, only place I've been out of the country is uh, Mexico. What, what, what did your dad tell you about his playing days here? And, and was he a big influence in you coming to Arizona? Yeah, uh, he was a big influence. I mean, he wasn't, I wasn't pressured at all to come here by him or anybody in my family. Uh, I mean, I knew that's what they wanted, but they, you know, they respected it as my decision and they gave me, it was fair look at anywhere. And I mean, he just told me how he had fun and my brother was here on the team. So I, that's a big reason why I came here. Uh, Cause not many people get the opportunity to play division one football with their brother. So yeah. it, was, it was a good time. It's fun. What do you like to do on your day off? Relax. I lay in bed. I'll get up, get food, come back. I play some Xbox. Right. Uh, I study some film, watch some Netflix. Uh, anybody has any Netflix shows that they recommend? I'm all ears. Uh, whenever football is over, somewhere down the road, what what do you want to do? Uh, down the road, I mean, I want to obviously, I want to everybody. I want to work for my own business. Uh, but I want to do something along the lines of helping people who are less fortunate, uh, whether it's like starting the Cancer Research Foundation or working with kids who are sick or like people who aren't as fortunate. Um, just something where I can use, if, if I can use what I've learned and my status and, and help others and benefit the community. Excellent goal. Thanks, Trevor Wood, tight end for the Wildcats as we meet the Wildcats.